Welcome to the Estrella Starlight tutorial on navigation. Ships in Estrella Starlight are equipped with power systems that can be used to transfer energy to their engines. Ships can have multiple power reactors and multiple engines. When traveling long distances, be sure to transfer power to your ship's engines using the engineering controls or the insert key on your keyboard. There are two types of navigation in Estrella Starlight, standard sublight movement and translumen flight for crossing vast interstellar distances. You can choose other ships and objects to control by first targeting them, then hitting the F key. Sublight flight is controlled by the navigation panel at the bottom of the screen. All ships are equipped with a gravity anchor for slowing down or stopping. Engine output can be increased using the up arrow or the W key on a standard keyboard. Output can be decreased using the down arrow or the S key. Ships will maintain most of their momentum as long as there is output to the engines. Using the anchor will set the engine's output to zero and drop the gravity anchor. The ship will begin to slow dramatically. This can also be achieved using the X key. If auto anchor is enabled, when the player sets engine output to zero, the gravity anchor will automatically drop. The ship's navigation system can also turn the ship left and right using the left and right arrows, or the A and D keys. The nav radio will appear beneath the ship showing the chosen direction and the ship will begin to turn toward the radial pointer. Each ship has a specific rate of turn. It can be increased by adding certain auxiliary systems found throughout the game. Flight to neighboring systems is also an important part of Estrella Starlight. There are safe passages between systems, called gates, that allow the player to jump there using a translumen drive. Gates can be north, east, south, and west. They can also be up and down. Available gates can be viewed by mousing over the system information display at the top of the screen. They can also be seen in three dimensions on the jump system control. The jump system control can be opened by clicking on the jump button at the top right of the game screen. The jump system screen contains two important controls. The first is a radial pad that shows the available gates and directions. Up for north, right for east, down for south, and left for west. The upper right represents gates that are up. The lower left represents gates that are down. You can click on these parts of the pad to initiate a jump to the corresponding gate. The second part of the jump control is the 3D systems view. This view will show you the surrounding systems and can be rotated by holding down the right mouse button and moving the mouse. The system in the middle is the system that the player is currently in. The system closest to the front will be illuminated in green and is ready to be jumped to. Once illuminated, the system's information will be shown on the bottom left of the jump control. A jump can now be initiated by clicking the left mouse button anywhere on the screen, or clicking the Initiate Jump button. This concludes the tutorial on navigation for Estrella Starlight.